It seems we're headed towards a future where the phrase, my vision is augmented, won't just mean that someone's doing their best JC Denton impression. And I'm not talking about nanotech either. I'm talking about augmented reality or AR, that thing that overlays graphics onto your physical surroundings to make them more functional in some way. But Linus, I mean, the only thing I've ever used AR for is like playing with those little cards that came with my Nintendo 3DS. Is this thing actually gonna take off? Although the technology is still relatively new and developers are still working on rolling out applications for it to the masses, more limited examples of AR have been with us for quite a while. Back in the early 1990s, AR was mostly used in industrial settings to help with manufacturing processes, but later became well known in the sports world when fans were introduced to the yellow line that marks a first down during a football game, that is American football, excuse me, or much more infamously, that glowing hockey puck with a comet tail that Fox decided was a good idea for some reason. But after the development of open source AR code in the late 1990s and the advent of small, powerful, and highly integrated devices such as smartphones, smart glasses, and even bionic contact lenses, the AR market, well, it is really opening up with developers increasingly searching for ways to make your everyday world a lot more exciting. So how exactly are they doing this? To no one surprise, one way is with games. Now we've already seen AR smartphone games that encourage players to interact with the real world, whether it's with like an included remote controlled doodad or, or Ingress would be a great example of that as well. But imagine like an AR board or tabletop game with virtual pieces that you and your opponent control with, you know, gestures, regardless of whether the other player is right next to you or a thousand parsecs away, safely out of arm ripping off range. Or if you're more of a PC gamer, what about a pair of smart glasses that could connect to your rig to display something like a 3D map of the area your character's in on your desk while the action continues on your monitor. And that, but speaking of monitors, I mean, would you even need one anymore? We're already seeing AR devices such as Microsoft's HoloLens that can throw a virtual monitor or TV screen onto a section of blank wall, no projectors required. And that can create new ways to design 3D objects. Instead of being confined to a keyboard and mouse, smart glasses could allow you to create a 3D model of your project in real size that you can manipulate with your own hands. I mean, they've done some great demos of this. And when it's time to leave the house, an AR windshield in your car could show you directions and street names or assist with braking and curves. And a pair of AR glasses could analyze your surroundings and show you things like pictures of a room in a nearby hotel, reviews of a restaurant you walk past, the plenty of fish profile of that cute girl over there. And if you wanna know the forecast, it could even alter the sky to show you what your environment will look like tomorrow when it's sunny. All right, so how long then before this stuff actually becomes part of our daily lives? Well, there are some challenges to overcome. Building massive databases to store information about real world locations. Well, okay, actually that's coming along pretty nicely. Uh, but developing convenient wearable gadgets that people actually want to wear and making sure that mobile batteries can handle rendering 3D AR graphics without dying in 30 minutes, without strapping a massive power pack to your face. These things will probably take a while, but I sure hope that I live to see the day when you can actually run around in a forest at night playing survival horror games. Speaking of running around at night and horror, can you imagine if your website wasn't working in the middle of the night and you didn't have Squarespace with their 24 seven support via live chat and email? Well, if you can imagine that, all you need to do is get on Squarespace. It starts at only $8 a month and you get a free domain if you buy Squarespace for the year. They've got templates with responsive design, which means your website scales to look great on any device. They've got a commerce module. Actually, every website comes with a free online store. They've got really flexible templates. So if you want to, you know, build a blog or you want to do like a portfolio for your, I don't know, maybe you make sock puppets out of things you found in the woods or whatever it is you do. You can go ahead and put that on your Squarespace site. And when you decide to sign up for Squarespace, you can use offer code Linus to get 10% off your first purchase. So thanks to Squarespace for supporting fast as possible. And thanks to you guys for checking out Squarespace. They have a free trial, by the way, no credit card required. 
So that's pretty much it, guys. If you liked the video, do that thing. If you didn't like it, do the other thing. Check out our other channels. We've actually got a great video over on our channel, Super Fun Channel. Uh, some game. Can't remember what it is, but we played a game, so... Yeah, there's a video about that there. Also, don't forget to subscribe and follow and all that good stuff. I'll see you guys next time.